Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I'm going to give you a look at my simple Halloween decorations. But before I do that, I wanted to show you what the kitchen area looked like before. These are video clips from my kitchen tour. The only area that I really decorated for Halloween this year was the kitchen table and the dining area. Now here is a look at my Halloween decorated kitchen. I kept the decorations pretty simple for this holiday. On my kitchen table, I have an orange and white chevron table runner that I purchased from Jane.com last year. If I can find out the actual shop that sold it on Jane.com, I will put a link below. And then I have two apothecary jars that I purchased from Trees and Trends many, many years ago. And inside of those jars, I have striped pumpkins and polka dotted pumpkins that I purchased from Target. In the center of my table, you will see an off-white lantern that I purchased from Pier 1. And inside is a Luminera candle. A Luminera candle is an electronic candle. So you can set a timer on the bottom and it's good to go. You do not have to worry about anything burning in your house. Now let's take a look at the back wall of my kitchen. This is the main area that I decided to decorate for Halloween. Most of these things I already had at home and I purchased very few for this year's Halloween decorations. Now, starting from the left and working our way to the right, we're gonna start on the floor and this is a fall banner sign that I purchased from Barn Owl Primitives last year and I absolutely love it. I will make sure to put a link to her shop below. Then you see two pumpkins on the floor. I purchased those from Walmart many years ago. And hanging on my table is a banner that I purchased from Jane.com a few weeks ago. I think it came from Crazy for Embroidery. I'll put a link below to that shop. And then I took off the yellow and white trellis lampshade and replaced it with the black and white trellis, trellis lampshade from Target. Then you see my Heidi Swap Jack-O-Lantern and Ghost that I just purchased and that are battery powered. I love them. And you see in the center, my little owl. I purchased this owl several years ago from a um, specialty shop. I saw him in the window and had to have him. Then I have these two um, wrought iron pumpkins that I purchased from Garden Ridge and painted them ivory then you see my diy vase in the back and yes those are branches from my tree out in the front yard and the little bat is my daughter's little embellishment for the tree and then next you're going to see my neutral happy everything original platter with my witch hat attachment i have the cotton colors items all over my house and i absolutely love them all and then last but not least, my happy fall wooden pumpkin that Miss Lisa Frost herself made me. It's supposed to go outside, but I love it so much that I keep it inside so I can see it every single day. And that is all for this area. Pretty simple, but I really, really like it and I think it turned out great. And one more look at my overall Halloween decorations. Thank you. 
And that is all for my simple 2015 Halloween decorations. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I decorated my kitchen for Halloween this year. If you like the holiday decorating type of videos, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would do so. I hope you all have a fantastic week. And until next time, bye.